Two and one to count. Bases loaded. The pitch is a swing and a ball driven deep down the left field line into the corner, and it is gone. A fair ball home run. Grand slam. The Amarillo players have their arms up in the air saying, wait a minute, how's that a home run? How's that fair? The left fielder, Tim Tawa, he's down the left field line with his arms out saying, that's a foul ball. So a grand slam. Let's see the replay here on Valley Live. I don't know. It's hard to tell, but if that ball lands in the uh, Budweiser Terrace, it's pretty much a fair ball, right? That foul pole hugs the uh, wall there. Now the umpires are converging, and you never like to see that after it. After a big time play. Well, here's my issue. The home plate umpire, that was his call. Yeah. And uh, now the other two umpires are coming over. They had they didn't have any kind of angle at all on this. So how would they come over and say, yeah, that was a foul ball. We needed to correct that. Well, look at where the second umpire is. He's over there by shortstop. He's not going to see it. No. Right? It's the home, home plate umpire's call. And he was straddling the line and he waited. Boy, it's so hard to tell in that replay, isn't yeah. it? I think it's a home run. But again, because of the three-man configuration, umpire-wise, you have the third base umpire. Oh, he's going to call it a foul ball. He's going to call oh it my a goodness. foul ball. you got to be kidding. Here comes one Apodaca goes over to the umpire. I believe that's the crew chief. They have switched a call that was called a fair ball grand slam. And now they're calling it a foul ball after a three umpires con conference. The home plate umpire, it is his call. And he's got the best angle. And he made the call of a home run grand slam. And after conferencing, they changed the call to a foul ball. Well, and that third base umpire is Casey James. And as I was just mentioning, he's over between third and second and closer to second. He doesn't have a better angle than no. the guy at home. There's that makes no sense. No, none whatsoever. So they're taking away a grand slam from... Cody Hosey, let's see if we another replay on Valley Live. It's just so hard with this angle. And I guess Apodaca might have just been ejected. Well, I don't see how that's foul. Who can blame him? Who can blame Juan Apodaca, the interim manager, filling in for Scott Hennessy? And I know our Valley's crew just does such a great job of getting angles. And, you know. Saw that stolen base a little earlier with Usnail. It was really, what a wonderful angle from the first base camera. But sometimes what we just saw is the best angle they're going to give us. And, you know, well, that's the way that goes. Bruce, I mean, the fact is you have three umpires. We all get that. So they have to rotate with men on base. And it's the home plate umpire's call. He called it a grand slam. Then the base umpires overrule him with a much less view of it. Well, Juan Apodaca is getting his money's worth. Well, that's a bizarre call to go back and reverse a grand slam based on base umpires who are out of position. So the driller runners now will have to uh, go back to their bases. And Cody Hosey will have to go back to the plate. Uh, you, know, and, and who else, you know who else had a really good look at it? Juan Apodaca. He was in the third base yeah. coaching box, right? The whole thing is, how can the umpire that makes the initial call, who's in charge of the call, be overruled by the two other umpires who don't have any kind of angle at all on that play? They're way off to the right field side of the of the foul line. And I'll tell you what, you just, you don't see that made hardly at all ever, Bruce, a reversal call like that. Well, not when the guy has the best angle made the call or initially. Now, if this were the majors, Obviously, they take a look at it in New York about 17,000 times, and they'd probably get it right. Well, the drillers think the home plate umpire got it right initially. And now you have the umpires looking toward the driller dugout again. Yeah, they're saying they need a first base coach. Uh, Ronnie Paulino that, is over third base coach. Yep. I believe that Paulino now will become the acting manager with uh, Juan Apodaca ejected. 
Certainly can't fault one. That is a call you just don't see. And they get somebody up. I think it might be a... It's Brandon Lewis. I going to say it might be a position player. Yeah, Brandon Lewis who's on the IL. So Hosey's at the play with a count of two balls and two strikes. Two outs, bases loaded. And the pitch is a swing and a foul back. I don't know. I've been doing this 28 years now, Bruce. You've been doing it a long time. I don't think I've ever seen a home plate umpire who makes a call like that in the reverse by the base umpires on a ball that's hit right down the, uh, the line with the base umpires over near first and second base, right? Two and two to count. Here it comes. The pitch is strike three called. You knew that was coming. And look at Hosey. Hosey. Oh, boy. Watch out. He's yelling at the first base umpire. So it was the first base umpire, apparently, who was the crew chief, Ray Patchen, who probably uh, carried the, the weight there in that, that conference meeting. He was the one that Apodaca was talking with, right? Yep. Side retired. So the drillers for a very short-lived moment, had a grand slam and four runs on the board, but they come up empty here after reversal of a call. Very, very controversial. We head to the second inning here at uh, One Oak. It is nothing, nothing. <laughs> 